Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sarah here with Furniture Flip by Sarah and in today's video I'm going to be making over this chair right here. I picked this up at Habitat for Humanity for about $10 about two weeks ago and I'm super excited to start flipping it today. I'm going to be replacing the cushion and painting the rattan. So here's the before of the chair, and I did pick this up. I believe the tag is still on it for $10 at Habitat for Humanity. You guys can see that. And I was thinking of refinishing this bamboo here to the natural wood, but I just think because of all the detail and everything, that's just going to be a huge task. So I think I am going to go ahead and sand, lightly sand it down, prime, and paint. And then I'm going to be replacing the cushion here with something fun and something a little bit more neutral just to kind of let the bamboo and the finish design of this chair really stand out. I have some inspiration photos I'll put on the screen here. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any recommendations if I were to do something like this again. I would love to hear what colors you think it should be and just really for the overall design. But let's get into the flip. I'm going to start just by removing the cushion. It looks like it's just attached with these two screws here. So I'm just using a screwdriver to get these out. I have my staple gun loaded up and I've measured out my fabric. I'm just going to start. I'm going to do a piece at the back, the front and the side, and then I'm going to bring it in from there. Making sure that it's nice and tight. Now that I have the main pieces stapled down, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this corner here. For covering little cushions like this is pretty simple. You just have to make sure you're going with the shape of your piece that you're working with and kind of folding it in as you go around any edges. And now for the corner, what I like to do is start with my point and kind of fold that in and then I work on pulling the rest of the fabric in. Kind of just like that, doing a simple little fold around the corner. staple gun this down. I am just using a Stanley staple gun. I believe these are about $10 or $15 on Amazon. So now that the seat is all recovered, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the excess fabric off. I don't have fabric scissors, but if you did, this would help. It would just cut a lot easier and faster. I am just using like regular kitchen scissors from Walmart. I'm just going to staple a few of these loose ends down. So I got the chair out in the garage and I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick sand. I'm going to use my Dewalt Orbital Sander just to really scuff down the arms where the old finish is peeling and just give everything a little quick sand. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper.
to clean this piece down before priming it, I'm just going to be using this degreaser here. I'm just going to spray it on and wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. And then once that is all wiped off, I will go ahead and clean this again with some hot water. Now I'm just cleaning the chair with some warm water. This is just getting any of the residue from the degreaser off, making sure I am working with a nice clean surface and making sure that my primer has a nice surface to adhere to. If you were to not use water after using a degreaser, um, some are natural and you don't have to, but if they're not, you do need to. And if you didn't, that residue would still be on your piece and when you go to prime you would really just be priming on top of that so if you want a long lasting finish I recommend if you're not using a natural one to clean with water and if you do use a bucket and do this method and soak it you can really see how dirty the piece still is it's kind of gross but also satisfying to prime this chair, if you've seen my videos before, then you've probably guessed it. I'm going to be using the shellac face primer from Zinsser. I always, always use this stuff. Um, I did in the beginning use the 123 primer, but it does not have the shellac in it, so sometimes pieces can bleed through. So I always just take the time to use this, and usually I'm pretty safe. Sometimes you can still have bleed through, and you just need to go over with a couple more coats. To apply the primer, I'm just going to be using a little dollar store brush and I'm just going to be working right out of the can. Just going to make sure my primer is mixed up. So now that the primer has dried, I'm just going to take a surf prep sanding pad. This is, I believe, a 120 grit, and I'm just going to scuff sand the chair, making sure everything is super smooth for when I go to uh, paint. Paint the chair. I'm going to be using Benjamin Moore Advanced Line. This is in a pearl finish, and this is the color Ebony King, and it is like a deep black, kind of has a bit of gray undertones to it. It's super pretty. I am going to use my microfiber rollers. These are by far my favorite rollers, and I have a Stanley brush. This is the two inch, I believe. And I'm just using my tray with some tin foil in it. To paint the chair, I am gonna brush all of the air. To paint the chair, I am gonna use my brush to get into all of the areas where the roller can't get, and then I'm gonna smooth it out with the roller. I like to do this method because the roller allows the paint to level out really nicely and this paint does have um, really good leveling properties in it so it's super important to do that step and that way you will avoid any brush strokes and get that factory finish look. If you have a sprayer you could go ahead and spray the chair that would be a lot faster because there's so many little detailed spots on the chair. 
If you have a favorite sprayer down below, definitely let me know in the comments. I am looking to get a new one. I have the Home Right sprayer, but unfortunately it just stopped working and I do love using a brush and roller. So I have just been doing that. Now I'm just screwing the seat back on. I did end up doing three coats of paint total on this chair. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before I share the full makeover with you, don't forget to leave me a comment of some videos that you would like to see. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Mm-hmm.